subscribe to the Quasi DB Premium Package, a very quick overview. I think what normally happens is when people subscribe to the Quasi DB, um, they become perhaps slightly overwhelmed by the amount of information that's on offer. Um, when we consider that we've got several Telegram groups that break down complicated subject matter and quite a sophisticated spreadsheet that tells us the sentiment and the sentimental shifts over time. Uh, so it might be a little bit too much information when you subscribe. So I think it would be a good idea is to give you an expectation what what you what you receive. So it's less disorientating when you when you sort of come on board. Um, it could be just like jumping in the deep end of a swim pool. Uh, I'm always there to offer assistance, but perhaps if you've got an expectation what you're going to get, and by the way, it's a lot. <laughs> you get a hell of a lot of stuff. Um, it's pretty ridiculously huge amount of stuff that you get for the $30. So uh, the $30 is premium and the $20 is just signals only. So this is what you get in the premium. You get the dashboard and it covering risk calculation, the bubbles and the live currency strength meter. Risk calculation is essentially SSI based on retail sentiment. So when they sell, um, it becomes a buy and um, when they buy it becomes a sell for us. And as you can see, they're very heavily uh, net um, short indices on average. And then we have a calculation from the 24 hour difference over time. The time is the key component to sentiment analysis. It's all well and good looking at that as a value, but where have the herd moved over, over the last day? So that gives us a nice you know, heads up what's gonna happen. Um, I wouldn't expect to see any major falls on the on and you know, on the indices because of this reason uh, because it would be payday for the herd and that would be unusual so that's just a quick overview of the dashboard it's quite nicely um the way it's it's formatted and stuff it's you know quite high level very powerful and this is live as well this live currency strength meter um stop loss clusters they tell you the liquidity zones where to target and they give you a high level summary uh, whether or not it's below 50 or above 50 percent that's the that's the criteria if it's above 50 percent it's a sell if it's below 50 percent it's a buy and ideally you want to have the shift in over time to match the high level so this is the low level movement across time this is where we are right now um, so dollar cad would be a sell because it was red red and uh, aj could potentially be a buy because of buy two greens and we see we've got quite a lot of mixed so you see how it's going against the grain. Um, there are your bubbles. Um, this is the dynamic shifting against USD. So we can see that the retail guys have gone long pound versus USD. And that would normally be a contrarian signal. But we have to remember Brexit headlines. So uh, it could be payday for those guys. It is really just a gamble. It's like a casino with the, the pound sterling this week and potentially next week too. So here's your SLC sheet, which you see has been updated quite early on in the day. Um, search tool, which is fairly, um, it's, it's quite straightforward. It just tells you technicals and sentiment. And uh, you want to get things to agree, ideally. So obviously we're technically bullish on the Euro USD, but sentimentally we're veering away from bullishness. Um, obviously it's 16 degree, uh, 16 percent, that's very skewed. Um, so you'd want to be careful around 20% and 80% because, you know, it's, it's the pain zone for those guys. Um, so that's the search tool. It's really good. Um, I'll change the icon according to the season. It's a bit cheesy, but we had a Halloween thing. And so this is the Christmas theme and we'll just change that over the course of the year. Um, so yeah, it's quite cool. Um, take your monthly pivots and your weekly pivots and stuff and, uh, you should be okay. And there's your volumes as well. They're, they're important. Uh, bubbles. Uh, this is how the signals are made. So we pitched strong versus weak, and we had the um, MetaTrader 4 robot, which is in testing phase. It opened a pound CAD trade because of that logic, and we rallied 160 pips at one point uh, before the Brexit news came out. <laughs> so uh, that just goes to show the logic there. You'd want to pitch, you know. Um, strong versus weak, you'd avoid the Euro Oz and you'd avoid the USD Yen for that reason. There's no clear bias, there's no clear bias, but there is a strong bias there, and that's why we got the signal.
hopefully that's quite clear that's the logic behind the signals and then we've got the bubbles old so we can see the motion across time um, so it's just, it's just useful to see like how far have we come over the last you know x hours um, signals so um, we had a signal come out today um, so when that comes out I manually populate that on the sheet it's a manual effort for me it's not automated or anything like that so when it comes through telegram I then populate it on the spreadsheet and we're up a lot um, since the conception of the bubble divergent strategy um, so it's, it's proved to be very successful as long as um, you know we keep to the logic and we should be okay 80% of the time we should be okay but we have a 20% um, margin of error because 20% of retail traders are successful so there's the signals these are all tabs on the sheet the sentiment versus price this can so we can see if and where the retail herd are profiting now what's happened with the USD is that they're selling it and price is going up and that would be normal so that's good so uh, you'd want green and green and you'd want red and red see pound is very mixed uh, so you'd avoid that completely because of that it's just telling us that the retail guys are getting paid and that would be that would be strange um, but the USD is behaving the pound is not it's being naughty so um, it's a good tab this one do check it it's quite good very powerful um, and this is the live currency strength meter and we're using the HTTP import function from investing.com um, so the data is actually on a 15 minute interval um, which is oh, fine it's totally that's totally fine it's good it's you know it's, it works um, it tells us the breakdown of the strength relative currency strength against its peers um, because we know the pound bubble is a strong sell we see it performing poorly and that just proves that the sentiment is it's working um, bubble matrix summary so this maybe isn't that useful for you guys uh, it just tells you you know gives you a heads up of what could be a signal um so obviously the pound is a strong sell and the cad's a strong buy so you try and you know pitch strong versus weak uh, so it just breaks down the bubbles um to give you sort of like a, a low level view you look at the your um your currency and then scroll left to right and see how the pound is actually a sentimental sell against its peers it's actually quite strong sell versus CAD and it's strongly sell versus USD um, sentiment and technical heat map uh, so when it comes across it becomes a sell because they're going long and when that comes across then it comes a buy uh, for the for that logic um, you can scroll down and it's got all the all the pairs and there's a technical heat map and there's the bubbles as well because the bubbles are the core concept of what we want to do that you see that the bubbles are, are sort of uh, placed uh, quite um, frequently across the spreadsheet because you know they're very powerful and so that's the sentiment and technical heat map this is a favorite for some of uh, the subscribers um, i like it as well you can see it moving in real time uh, if you just keep it on like a spare monitor while you're trading and you can see this move and uh, as it moves and it becomes more for sale over time because we know that retail guys are normally wrong and they'll hold on to losses so there's the euro, euro USD, and whether or not it goes to nine percent becomes more of a sell. But if it goes this way, it becomes less a sell. So you'd want to see confirmation over time. So um, hopefully this video is quite helpful. There is a lot to the spreadsheet. It's very sophisticated, and there's our signals profit and loss. We're up a, a lot since the conception, um, just using dollar and yen pairs, and we just introduced euro pound. I think four weeks ago and the last two weeks they went bad so we've it, it deactivated euro pound and uh, pound usd and pound yen because of the brexit nonsense so um they've been deactivated but you can see how successful they've been we target the herd monday tuesday wednesday and then we reap the reward thursday friday as we see that they're making a little bit of their money back um, so they come back to the casino on Monday. So that's why we get out Thursday. And um, so that covers the spreadsheet. And so then the other aspect to the premium package is the Telegram. And there's seven Telegram groups. And you're like, wow, <laughs> why have we got so many? It's because we break down um, 
you know complicated subject matter so here's our chat group I've, I've you know I've cut the the last comment out for privacy reasons um, so that's our chat group which is a really nice lively place um, we share trade ideas there and it's, it's a good place to hang out uh, there's our signal so there's me uh, populating the price of signal for our trade that we had um, and this is the group for the EA, the MetaTrader 4 group. And this is my, my comment about pound uh, because of the location of the bubble. Uh, technical analysis. And there's the main channel, which is the bulk of the important stuff. My, my daily videos go here, my risk calculation and uh, the stop loss clusters. There's the group that you guys are in already. Um, and then the signal overview. Um, so that just tells us like uh, high level what's profiting, how we're doing, are we in positive or negative, um, and what the current open or closed um, signals are. So that's just a, an overview of the signals. And this will be retired because we have um, the signals are very successful. So we don't really need the technical criteria to validate the signal because the signals are going well. So we don't really need that so that will probably be made redundant i'm thinking perhaps next year we, we don't necessarily need that validation from being above or below monthly pivot because the signals are just going incredibly well so there's seven groups that you'll um join that one is a an option you don't have to join it but i recommend that you do it does get quite noisy but um it's a fun place to hang out and we do share lots of trade ideas as well um, so some examples in the technical analysis, we've got some, some supply and demand. Uh, this is from uh, one of the subscribers. This is the pound yen, so how we'd have a break of the diagonal. We've got resistance and this would um, supplement the sentiment as well. Um, so yeah, just an overview of what you could see in your technical area. There's another uh, analyst of um, in the technical area, it's just uh, the Kiwi yen. And this is projecting price according to uh, supply analysis, supply and demand. Some more idea uh, based on sentiment because at the time this would have been a signal. Um, so just an idea of what we could expect. Um, some alert wave analysis for gold, which is uh, pretty cool. And uh, so you get a lot of stuff in the telegram. Here's an example of my input from the sentimental view. And uh, this is the Euro USD um, telling us how um, basically how counter trend the herd are. And this is where we, at this point we saw the, the dollar bubble, it started to gravitate north on the chart, on the bubble chart, and it hasn't come down since, since May. So I'm thinking that these guys are going to have to get uh, exhausted and they're going to give up because how big are their pockets and how much patience have they got really? they're going to give up and it's the moment they do as a majority as a dumb herd the moment they do then we can see the usd finally come down on the bubble chart and then things will return to normal in speech marks so uh, just a little bit of analysis from the sentimental view this is the dynamic shifting across time and we see the the shift in the real-time reflection of the sentiment they they sold and so what happens price comes up and that happens everywhere so it's worth keeping an eye on, on your dynamic shifting across time. And some volume profile analysis, just something I did on my mobile. And um, lastly, you get um, YouTube videos on the private channel. So you do get a lot of stuff um, covering all the pairs FX SSI has to offer. If you want to get the um, FX SSI MetaTrader 4 indicators, use the QuasiDB code at the checkout for huge savings. I think it's like a 70% discount, which is huge. And um, so if you wanted to do that, as that's up to you, if you want to get the stop loss clusters, you could just subscribe to the premium package and you get them that way. But they're only updated once a day on the spreadsheet. Um, so you get a lot of stuff. So hopefully this helps with your expectations um, that when, when you join, you don't get, you don't feel like you're in the deep end and you're struggling. Um, so you know that you're going to get a lot of stuff for the price that it's an offer. It's incredibly competitive to what you get for what other people are charging. 
some people are just charging some macro analysis for the same price and you get so much stuff <laughs> ridiculous amounts of stuff here and we've got a really really nice friendly community as well and everyone's really nice and uh friendly and uh, that's that's the way i would have it i wouldn't have it otherwise um just because you know you want it as a nice place to to be and to, to hang out so um that just wraps up a uh, 40 minute video and just to sort of um, set your expectations and you do get a lot so i welcome any questions and uh, i'll speak to you guys soon so uh, yeah have a good day and i'll speak to you later